Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my latest DIY project called Electronic Load. This one that I'm holding in my hands is 150 watts. Can handle with maximum 30 volts and 5 amperes. It have volt and ampere meter, digital LED volt and ampere meter, a potentiometer for choosing the current. Here we have banana plugs for connecting the electronic load or for testing the power supply or the power source. Fuse and this DC jack is for DC in 12 volts to operate the circuit. At bottom there is my signature and it's made 2025 April. The box is completely made from scratch, metal, and behind I have a big aluminium heatsink and the front panel is from wood and I like to mix a metal with wood also with my burning tool I made these marks and letters and signs and turn out like a steampunk gadget. All right. What is a electronic load? A electronic load is a test instrument designed to sink current and absorb power out of power source. If a power supply is used to power a device, an electronic load is used to test the power supply by emulating the device under test. So using this homemade electronic load, I can test power supply or power sources. So I can see, does they give enough power and, power and work properly? As I said, the device is working on DC voltage 12 volts. This is input and for powering the, the circuit that controls the electronic load. And yes, it shows 00 volt, 00, 00 amperes. When I turn the potentiometer, nothing happens because I need to hook up a electronic load right here or battery that I, I want to test or power supply that I want to test and on this volt amper meter I will read the voltage that is hooked up on these terminals and how much current we are pulling from that power source. We're gonna see the amperes right here. As I said this is 150 watts but the schematic and the circuit is made for 300 watts but I made it 150 and 30 volts maximum. Okay, let's test this power supply that I have. Let's check the, does this adjustable power supply can give 3 amperes at 15 volts and that is 45 watts that will be shown right here. I'm connecting the negative lead right here, positive here and you can see that the, on the voltmeter on the electronic load it says 15.3 it's almost the same 15.2 15.3 0 amps 0 amps with this adjustable potentiometer I can choose how many amperes I want to pull from the power supply and right now we are pull, pulling around 10 watts 600 milliamperes 600 milliamperes let's go to one point let's say 2 amperes. Right now we are pulling 30 watts, 15 volts times 2 amperes are 30 watts. On the power supply it says 32 watts, 2 amperes. This power supply maximum can give 3 amperes. Let's do that. And the voltage drop because it's hitting the maximum current. We're gonna set on 2.8. Yes. 41 watts we are pulling and that this meaning that this power supply is working great and the electronic load is doing his job. Inside this homemade box it's this. 
This is my prototype. This is my first version. This one is 20, 20 volts and 2.5 amperes. And just to mention, this is just part one of this electronic load, homemade electronic load, 150 watts. There will be second video, part two, where I will explain the circuit diagram, everything you, you need to know so you can build your own electronic load just like mine. You can choose 150 watts or 300 watts. I have go with 150 watts because that is enough for my work. Okay, let's power on the big boy. This power supply can give 30 volts. I'm gonna set it on 25 volts. Almost. And hook up negative, hook up positive. My fuse is 5 amperes, so I don't want to hit the maximum. <coughs> Sorry, we're gonna go with 100 watts on the panel. We read 25.7 volts. It's not the same voltage. This one is not correct. And let's hit, let's say, 3 amperes. Look, 3.3 amperes, 25 volts. If I go to 4 amperes. What does it mean? That means that this electronic load is pulling 100 watts from this power supply. 4 amperes times 25 volts is 100 watts. And the heatsink is getting warm. It's good to, to add a, a fan, maybe in the future. But right now the case is metal, the heatsink and the that is good. 100 watts, 25 volts, 4 amperes we are pulling from power supply. For those who don't want to wait the, the second part where I will explain the whole circuit and the project how I made this, here it is. The, the schematic and the main chip is LM324 that have that can control four MOSFETs. Right now on this project I'm controlling only two MOSFETs. That's why I have five amperes. And as I said, you can control four MOSFETs and 300 watts. That means 10 amperes at 30 volts. I hope you like today presentation of my finished electronic load and the box is looking pretty amazing with this wooden panel steampunk look I like it by the way to mention there will be second video today this one this this one is a DIY project the next video will be AliExpress one dollar AliExpress module unboxing and yesterday I skipped a video so today I need to upload two videos just for you guys that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya